Hi, welcome back to Katuta Tutorials and welcome back to the second video in how to make a basic AI for your game. In this video we're going to go over how to make a blueprint character, uh, AI blue, uh, character blueprint for your uh, AI and a controller which is the first real artificial intelligence system that we're going to start integrating into our uh, mesh. So we're going to start off, oh and always um, if you fast forward to the last minute to 30 seconds of the video you can see um, I'll go over everything that we did in this video and see if this video is the right one you uh, the one you wanted to watch and we'll go on from there. First thing we're going to do, oh wait again let's just go over what we did last time. We imported our animations include and made our idle walk run we made our anim blueprint and we import our skeleton. Assuming you have all that, then you're you're all cut up and you're ready to go. If not, go back to the first video. All right. Now in this video, we're going to start off with making a new folder like we do in most videos, and we're going to call it AI underscore character. I always capitalize wrong things. Character. I think I spelled that wrong. Oh well. BP. All right. I'm going to open that up. And we're going to have nothing inside, which is exactly what you expect when you just make a folder. Next, we're going to start off with making our character uh, our character blueprint. We're going to right click, go up here to blueprint class. We're going to click on that. We're going to add character, which is what we want. And click that. We're going to call it AI underscore BP. We're going to double click on that. And here, if you're at all familiar with blueprints, you have the general event graph, construction script, and viewport. Right now, all we're going to work is in the viewport. We're going to click on the mesh component and underneath the uh, inside our little components tab. Make sure you click on mesh. Now we're focused on these two things. The very first thing we're going to want to do is under anim blueprint generate. Let me just pull that out so we can read it all. Anim Blueprint Generated Class is what we want to check. Now we want to click the Anim BP we made in the last video. Right here. I made it AI Anim BP. Click that. Now we're going to want to select our skeleton. So here we can see that we have our skeleton in the world and he's doing exactly what we want but he's a little bit high and he's facing the wrong direction. I'll show you how to fix both. Now this caps component cannot be moved up or down. So we're going to have to move this mesh component. This caps component is which contains the collision of the player. So because sometimes uh, collision can be complex, we generally only use a capsule for most games. And it's generally 100% fine all the time. So we're going to click on the mesh. We're going to bring him down. Most important thing is his feet don't go past the bottom of, that, uh, of your capsule. Otherwise he'll be uh, if his feet will be uh, inside the floor and if he's too high he'll just be floating on top. So we're going to make that. That looks about right. Now this little air component, right, that's one coming out of his hip, that's showing us where forward is. So we're going to click on our mesh and I'm going to hit E and now I'm going to rotate him 90 degrees to that little dial right there says 90. You can see his little arrow coming out of his crotch. So that means he's pointing the right way. Now we only want to do one more thing. Actually we don't want to do anything at the moment. We're going to make something else. So we're going to close that out and now we're going to make another uh, blueprint class called a AI controller. This is acting as a sort of an additional blueprint to your uh, your character controller, your character blueprint but only for AI. So we're going to click on blueprint class again but this time, instead of picking any of these, we're going to go here and we're going to type in AI controller. Alright, so I'm going to click on it and I'm going to hit select. And that's going to bring up this new blueprint class. I'm going to call this AI underscore. Actually, I'm going to call it uh, AI. Let's, let's make this a guard. I'm going to make it. Uh, 
yeah, AI guard. Ah, I can't spell for shit. AI guard controller. Alright. So now we go back to our Anna Blueprint, not the one that we just created, the one that we created uh, just a little bit ago in the start of this video. We're going to go back to that one because we need to set one more thing up. So we're going to go to AI, we're we'll just type that in the search bar up there, and we're going to go down to this Pawn and Auto Possess AI, AI Controller class. We're going to click that and we're going to click on AI Guard Control, the one I just made. Now for those of you wondering why it looks kind of weird, it's because if you don't have anything in your world, um, Unreal will just make a short, a, a kind of shortened version of your blueprint just so you, because th they assume you only want to enter, uh, you only want to mess with the, uh, the details. So if yours look like this, it's fine, doesn't matter, I can still go into a, uh, AI and then go guard, guard controller there. That's everything's fine. So you can compile it. I'm gonna close it out. All right. Now next thing I'm gonna do is see if this is all working. So I'm gonna place my guy in the world just by clicking and dragging. Now a good a good way to tell is check as you go to make sure everything's working. So I'm gonna open up my guard controller. And a good way to see if this blueprint is being possessed at all is I'm going to just make this um, box very small, pull it over, and I'm going to press play. Now obviously this guy's not going to move, he doesn't have any brains telling him what to do with the moment, he's just going to have kind of like his um, animation going. So I'm going to click on expand toolbar while playing, oh yeah, if you want to uh, exit out and bring your mouse back uh, from while you're playing the game hit shift F1 and that brings your mouse up so I'm gonna click on my uh, AI controller I'm gonna uh, bring this down and I'm just gonna go to debug and I'm gonna click on AI guard controller so assuming that you can click it that means that he does he is uh, sending stuff here but there's obviously he uh, is sending um, no um, he is con the the character blueprint is connected to the AI guard controller blueprint, so this is good. This is what we want. Considering we have nothing in here, this is exactly what we want at the moment. So we're gonna close that out, and we're just gonna stop. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up AI guard controller. Now we have it back at this thing. We uh, it says open full blueprint, but it assumes you just want to mess with class defaults. I want to open full blueprint. So couple things. I'm gonna drag this out. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna t um, uh, make a node called Run Behavior Tree, which is this one. Now we don't have a behavior tree. We're gonna go over setting up a behavior tree in the next video. So I'm gonna come back to this in the next video. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go over one more thing. You can delete this vent tech if you want, and it's uh, pawn sensing. Now if we want our uh, our AI to see us and then attack us, but it, um, if else he's just staying there, then we're going to need to give him some eyes. And it's actually fairly easy. Inside your AI guard controller, we're just going to click on add component on the side and just go down to pawn sensing. Now if we look at our viewport, it just looks kind of weird. Or not, I guess they removed that function. Alright, whatever. So we're going to go here. We just have our pawn sensing. This is what allows our pawn, our AI, to hear and to see. So if I right-click that and add event, you can see on pawn see and on hear noise. So we're just going to worry about see. We're not going to worry about hear noise at the moment. This is just a simple, um, simple type of AI. So on pawn C, we're going to drag it off and we're going to type set value as object. Now, notice nothing pops up. That is entirely fine. It's to be expected. It's because it doesn't realize that you want uh, to do that. We're just going to click off context sensitive. Click it off and you can see now we have this value. 
We're going to bring that up. Okay. So this is setting something, uh, setting an object in a different place. But we're not going to worry about that at the moment. I'll explain it more in depth in the next video. I'm just going to drag this off off target. The target is going to be get blackboard blackboard. Make sure it's the function because there's also this AI get blackboard. Make sure it's the function and not this uh, this one. I'm going to click on that and the target for that is going to be self. Not ignore self. We're just going to write it out and type self. Get reference to self. So it should look like that. Blackboard is what we're going to go over in the next video. Basically all it is is a place to store uh, variables for our AI. And then we're going to go the pawn we see, that's what that means, is on pawn C and it's saying the pawn that we see. We're going to have that go to the object value. And now we're going to type something out here. We're going to go make literal name. Now all we're going to do here is I'm going to make a name for my uh, variable in a second. I'm going to go more into this and explain it all in the next video. So I'm going to call it target. All right. Now this is, can get kind of confusing and you don't have to worry too much about the guard AI. Watch the next video and if it still confuses you, message me, comment, anything you want more than happy to answer any of your questions. So we're just going to compile. That's all we're going to do for this video. For this video, what we did is we made a folder called AI Character BP. We made our character blueprint and we added our anim blueprint and our skeleton mesh from last um, from the last uh, video. We made a AI guard controller and we started to uh, do some programming for our next video. Thank you so much. I will see you in a little bit in our next video. Thank you.